we go, folks. Shit's about to get real. Staying right on the infield here. Big black turbo Harley and the Federal Light. This is our home away from home for the winter. Well, till till we get back to the shop for the Valentine's Day auction. Guys, we ran into Chris Richardson from Chili Pepper Racing. He was showing us his brand new RV he just got here, a beautiful rig, and also has a beautiful West Cooley replica. This is a really special piece. Super, super nice. What have you done to the motor on it? I see you got the uh, um, big carbs on there and looks sure. like the heads so were done. Sure, so kind of arm illegal. That's the weekend we're at, the Historic Racing Motorcycle Association. We've kind of retro-modded the Suzuki to stay arm illegal but give more performance. We've got a bandit swing arm on the back allowing a 17-inch rear wheel, nice. which is great for racing, lots more rubber choices. We've got Tarotzi rear sets to help with the rider's positioning. And we've had to stay with a stock GS1000S engine uh, two valve per cylinder, but we've added some nice good-looking goodies to make it a little nicer at bike night Looks fresh. Looks like it was just rebuilt And you got a bandit front end on it too. Bandit huh? front end, bandit rear. 41 millimeter forks so with dual disc, 17 inch tire again from, instead of from 20 feet away it looks original, but you get up close you can see it's got some real nice mods on it That's the whole idea. That's it's kind of a idea. kind of a sleeper almost. Yeah Yeah, you don't want to change the overall look and silhouette of these vintage bikes these super bikes, but you want to give them some some better performance, right? So we didn't go square side. We went with the very best round slides we could get. Those are sun We got the big brakes, triple piston calipers yeah. on there. Yeah, off a of bandit basically, but redone by Race Tech. Is this your bike too? This is a friend of mine's out of Austin, collector Doug Hector. That's another rare piece. Look at that yeah, thing. Yeah, this is wow. a really nice Jota. Laverta Jota 1000. That, that thing's beautiful. What's a 77 ish? If I was a guess. You know, I can't speak to that. I think it's, a, you know, the Laverta guys will be picking my comments. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah, they do I don't that. want to go too far other than to say Doug's made some minor mods on this one too, but really tried to restore it, you know, as factory correct. It's a beautiful piece. Yeah. Well, good luck on your racing this weekend, and uh, thanks for sharing your bikes with us. Always a fan. Thank you. Guys, if you're in Daytona, he just bought that new rig, but he also has his old rig with him. He bought this brand new. It's an E450 V10. Uh, runs like brand new. It's got a new transmission in it, new refrigerator, and it's set up to haul three bikes in the back. And uh, definitely a cool rig. Nice, clean setup, ready to go. I think he's asking, uh, what'd you say, a 19.5 for? 19.5, and your... take it this weekend. If you're looking for a good race rig, full bath, full kitchen. The new ones are $150,000, so 19.5 wouldn't pay the taxes and insurance. Uh, and. Uh, on a new one it's got ramps on the back here you can definitely put three or four bikes in here no problem it's got like a um, garage door on the back nice storage so how, how does somebody get a hold of you if they want to buy your rig so they can either call me on my cell phone at 281-844-2920 that's 
844-2920. We're in Daytona for another 24 hours. And this thing will definitely, uh, it's will definitely road home. ready. It's, I think your wife wanted a new rig, so you wanted to make her happy and uh, yourself happy too. So That's right. I couldn't say no to that. But this ride will take you anywhere you want to go. Congrats on a new ride. And guys, give them a call if you're looking for a nice race rig. We would have bought it ourselves, but we're happy with our, our little tiny home here. This works out fine. Same thing, toy hauler in the back, but it's a fifth wheel. We tow it behind the truck. 